Hi, this is Margot Burns, and this is a brief introduction to the beta version of comic o -Matic that I wrote and uh, used Nina Paley's wonderful drawings from face o -Matic and some individual characters that she drew special just for comic o -Matic. Anyway, this is a random comic generator. It's different from having to pick individual pieces because it randomly picks them for you. So every time you come to the site, it will give you two different characters and six facial expressions. And if you reload the site, it will give you different ones. So here we've got our nice little monster person and our little bunny character and a bunch of different faces. And every time you, you go to it, it'll just give you random ones. And the idea is to get you writing and to spark your imagination. So I'm going to start with these. I'm going to make the comic strip. And I'm going to see what I think. So we've got the cat and we've got the monster. So let's see. Um, what might they these two guys here be saying? So the cat will be saying... Um, I'm thirsty. Um, and the monster will be going, um, I want to drink your blood. Okay. Now, I'm going to just say make this comic strip just so you can see what's happening. And you can put up to uh, four lines of text. It automatically knows how long the lines are so that it will break them and make the um, dialogue bubbles go around them. I have seen somebody put in five lines, and I'm not quite certain how that worked. Uh, so I'm still figuring out a bunch of things about how I've written the program. Um, you can't put in really, really long words. If you put in a really long word, it'll substitute five X's for it. So, um, so if you try and put in supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, uh, it won't fit. So every time you want to do a little change, you can just say, make this comic strip. The idea is to say, well, um, I don't know if I like this next face for the cat. Um, no, maybe I do. I'll say, ooh, I don't want you to drink my blood. Um, so I'm going to change that a little bit. And then, well, maybe I don't really like this. You know, the way I'm thinking about it, um, what I'm, this next facial expression on the monster doesn't really inspire me. So I'm going to uncheck those, and I'm going to say make this comic strip, and it'll give me new ones. So I don't want you to drink your blood. Um, so now let's see, is this what I want? Hmm, maybe I'll check that again, see if, what, see if I can get something else that's interesting. Well, let's just say he says, hmm. Um, and then let's say the cat goes, just kidding. And um, the monster goes, so was I. And we can say, make this comic strip. So that's okay. Now, I might say, I, I may have gotten it all there, and I don't really like the characters or something. I can uncheck one of the characters and get a new one. You can uncheck everything if you want. Uh, so now it's making the new one. And, ooh, we've got two cats. And you'll notice that some of the characters, like the monster and the cat, there are mirror images of them. So um, I'm going to keep it at this. There's one other thing that a lot of people forget to do, and that's to put in a title. Um, so I'm going to call this one Thirsty Cats. I didn't say it was good, but uh, written by Margo. And I say make this comic strip. You'll also notice that every time you regenerate it, it gives you a different set of colors in the background. And that it doesn't hang on to. It just randomly gives you um, new colors. So the whole thing is to be random, to spark your creativity in writing. So um, because this is still beta, it's not set up to really give you links into the cloud. So if you want to save your, your strips, you have to control click or right click to save the image, and you can just save it as whatever you want. So this is the Thirsty Cats, and I'm just going to save that. And once you've got your file, you can upload it anywhere you want, to Facebook or whatever. Uh, I do have a Facebook um, page for, for comic o -Matic. I'd love to see what you're doing, and uh, look forward to it being in the cloud, and for you to be able to save all your comic strips um, and share them. Uh, give me feedback, margoburns at gmail.com.